Next is Dr. Craig Zelzer. Craig is a personal mentor of mine and also founder of PCDN. He's a professor, an angel investor, and all around amazing human. So he'll be showing us how you can use Airbnb, uh, the platform we're using uh, today for this conference, to build community engagement with impact. Thank you so much, David. And I learned a lot from you as well, so I consider you a mentor. And what I will do is give an overview of a couple of key Airmeet functions. And I will say in full transparency, I'm an angel investor in Airmeet and about a hundred other social impact startups. You know, I have a little bit of a bias. And before I get into Airmeet, the one thing I'll say is I use Zoom. I use lots of platforms. I think we're all hit peak Zoom. And so one of the things I encourage people to look at as you think about how to best engage your community, don't just stay with the normal tools. It's, you know, we've hit platform overload. I personally, Zoom is great for one-on-one -on -one meetings, but when I'm doing group convenings or community meetups, I find Airmate to be amazing. So I'm just gonna show a few screens and walk you through why I think it's amazing. And of course there's other tools out there. So I don't wanna say this is the only tool. So I'm hitting share screen and I'm gonna jump between screens. So I'm just waiting to see if it's working. I got it. This is the landing page. Airmeet is actually based in India. One of the things that I like about Airmeet is they have 24 seven live support. So if you're using the platform and you're setting it up or you're in the middle of an event and you've got a glitch or a question, you can go in directly to the Airmeet support table and chat with a live human being, which is an incredible thing. I don't know of any other platform in the world for convening that provides that support. Once you create an Airmeet account, it's nice. You can see here all your events that you both have organized or are attending show up here, so it's just a nice, elegant landing. And then one of the best things about Airmeet is they have all different types. You can do like Zoom type conference, Zoom type convenings. You can do major conferences. And this is just an example of a small event we did at PCDN. And you can see this is a very basic schedule, but you can create schedules. You can see all the people who've registered. You can set up customized branding and then Airmeet provides amazing analytics. And so once you finish an event, you automatically get emailed all the data, or you can look it up here. So you can look at who participated, how long they stayed, their emails and all that stuff. So it's super useful. If you look at the summary page, it's got, it takes a little bit of time, but it has nice visualizations. And again, I've used Hopin and lots of other platforms that, you know, to me don't provide this kind of data. This is an example just of a landing page. And I like how Airmeet both has, if you're in the lounge before you go into the event, I, I just spoke in an event last night on Zoom and as the speaker, I had to wait to get in. So Airmeet, if you're a speaker, you can go backstage or you can bring all your participants to the lounge and you can customize this as much as you want. You can create tables where people can interact and chat with each other, or you can do one-on-one -on -one speed networking, five to five, five minute one-on-one -on -one networking. The profile functions on Airmeet are fantastic. So you can see, you know, and I encourage everyone in this event, put in your social media channels that you feel comfortable sharing because, you know, you can go around as you're in an event and start connecting with people. And you can even set up meetings directly within Airmeet with other people you want to connect with. This is a global event we did with Airmeet. So if you have partners or exhibitors, I'm not going to go into all the details. You can set up amazing booths, you know, so you have employers or tech things. And then Airmeet automatically records all of your videos. You can turn that off. So it's also nice for archiving if you want to give people access to your event or share it on YouTube or other channels. And then pricing, it does get, depending on what you use, they have a free version. So if you're just doing a few people pricing, they actually just increase their pricing. So it can get expensive if you're a very small number, but you know, I have found it. I mean, I'm also on the advisor board of tech change. I love tech change for large scale events. That's another one I would highly encourage people to look at. But compared to every other platform I've used, Airmate, Tech Change are the best. And there is one other one just to make a promotion called wonder.me, which is a German startup, which I think is the best for just kind of meetups. So I have 30 seconds left, so I'll stop there and I'll put my LinkedIn profile. I'm so happy to chat about Airmate. And again, that's just the ability to engage and allow people to move around on their own and not Zoom where everything kind of like scheduled. It feels very rigid.